Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I want to share with you a couple of new in pieces in my wardrobe over the last few weeks. And I've also got a few things that just didn't quite work out and I kind of wanted to show you why before I sent them back. Most of these pieces are quite spring appropriate, so I think it's great for spring leading into more summery weather for those of you in the Northern Hemisphere. Today's video is sponsored by Karma, formerly Shop Tagger, which is a Chrome extension and app that uses very clever technology to ensure that we never miss a coupon code or price drop online. I'll share a link down below for you guys to check out, but we'll talk a little bit more about that later. The first item I want to share with you is this dress from Ghani. And Ghani is a brand that I hear talked a lot about online, especially amongst bloggers. But I've actually had a really bad experience with them in the past that put me off the brand where I got this dress and it just felt very, very uncomfortable to wear. The brand Ghani uses a lot of recycled polyesters in their clothing and usually it's just not a texture that I really like. However, this one is predominantly cotton and I just find it a lot more comfortable on. And I love that it has a very cool kind of crinkle texture to it, which is quite unique. I've seen Ghani do this dress in a variety of different colors. And the lilac and yellow version that I'm wearing right now just really spoke to me. This dress has ultra thick straps, a ruched bodice, and the skirt reaches to my ankle. I would normally find this length of dress a little bit too long for me. However, because I think the bodice is quite tight, it really balances out the proportions nicely and I actually think that this dress is quite flattering, even on someone who is more petite. I managed to save 20% off this dress on Netta Porter, and this is where Karma comes in. So Karma is formerly known as Shop Tagger, and they're constantly expanding their capabilities with what they can do. And the new name represents the good Karma that they put forth by helping us all shop a little bit smarter online. This particular dress I'm wearing, I actually purchased by a 20% off coupon code. So I was able to save a little bit of money on it. I had the dress in the red and black checkerboard print in my wish list for quite a while. Having items hang around on my wish list for a little bit just allows me to make sure that this is the item that I'm going to wear in my wardrobe and that it will actually kind of elevate my style and not be a bit of a mistake purchase. I am going to hop onto my laptop now and show you how Karma works. On your computer, download the browser button and you can basically visit any of your favorite stores and click the button or slider when you see an item you'll like to save. What happens now is that you'll get a notification by email or mobile push when the item you've saved goes on sale, has a relevant coupon code, or comes back into stock. So right now, we're looking at one of my wish lists where I've saved a bunch of items that I might be interested in down the track. I love that I can save items to a wish list because this gives me a little bit of time to really think about whether I need this in my wardrobe. I think these wish lists help us shop in a more mindful way and helps us be a little bit more considered when it comes to adding new clothing or new accessories into our wardrobe. One of my favorite features that I mentioned earlier is that Karma can use clever technology to scan the web for coupon codes and apply them at checkout automatically. So this is something that I love because oftentimes you're just able to save yourself an extra 10% or 20% at checkout. This is a special feature if you use Karma on your computer. So do download the Chrome extension with the link down below. And lastly, you can also earn cash via PayPal when you shop from select retail partners. So you can just save a little bit of extra with a bit of cash back. I would absolutely love for you guys to go check out the Chrome extension and app down below. Karma is 100% free and I think it's a great way to save a little bit of money when doing online shopping. The next couple of items I have are from Andover Stories and I have been so impressed with some of these finds lately. The first item is this top and it's just a little blouse with a very wrinkled textured look to it. And the fabric of this is just beautiful. In one of my spring trend videos, I mentioned that this has been super trendy lately, but I find that shops often use a really kind of crunchy polyester. This particular top is actually 50% linen. It is 28% silk and the rest is cotton. You can imagine it's such a beautiful fabric. It's also not flimsy or thin. It has a very substantial weight to it, which is just beautiful. Despite the lighter color, it's actually not sheer at all, which is great to see. And I've just been super impressed with this item. You'll see me style it with a pair of khaki trousers. And I just think that it's a super simple but chic combination. And it doesn't look too trendy or too loud. It still does feel like quite a classic item. 
The other top I purchased from Andover Stories is this one in a very light bubblegum pink colour. And it can be a little bit scary for someone like me with olive or slightly warmer skin tones to wear a cool toned shade. But at the same time, I just think this is so pretty and so fun. I love styling it with the black skirt that I show in the cutaways. It's got a lot of detail that makes this particular piece feel special. So up close, you'll be able to see there's a ruffle detail around the neckline. We've got some lace details, we've got buttons, little puffy sleeves, and it is just so romantic and feminine that I love styling it with my wardrobe. The material of this top is 100% cotton and I'm quite happy with the quality of this as well. I'm super excited to show this with you guys because this is such a good midi skirt. I think the print of it is super classic that you can wear it with a lot of different colours. It's a nice cotton material, it's not sheer at all. And it's got cute buttons that go down the front. These buttons are faux buttons and you've actually got a size zip which just makes it quite easy to take on and take off. I really don't think I can fold the skirt and you can pretty much wear it with anything. The most obvious way to style it for me will be with a black or white blouse, but I also think that it will look great with some colour. For example, these two pieces I think will actually look quite cute together, as would something like this just look super super chic when worn together. At the front of the skirt, you've just got a little bit of a split down the bottom and I think that looks a little bit nicer when you're walking and moving around. So there is good attention to detail. You'll also see the length on me, it's neither too long nor too short. And I just have only good things to say about this skirt. This is another skirt from End of a Stories and this one is a cotton skirt with like a faux wrap detail. You've got the two sides that wrap around and you've got an elastic waistband. The skirt is very casual. But I often do like the shape of the wrap detail. I find that the split detail and the design of the skirt can be quite elongating on the body. But the reason why I'm not crazy about this is that I would have loved to see the skirt and the material have a little bit more structure to it. The material of this isn't necessarily thin for a t-shirt, but it's a little bit thin for how I like my skirts. And that would be the only thing. Because if I tuck something in that's a bit more bulky, you'll definitely be able to see through it. And also, if you're wearing something on the inside that requires tucking, you'll also see your shirt kind of come through as well. I am still umming and ahhing about this a little bit. And if you guys see me style it in this video, that means I'm keeping it. And if you don't see me style it, that means I probably have sent it back. I feel like I've been focusing on the negative, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the positive. This is actually made from 100% organic cotton. So it is a beautiful cotton material. The skirt has pockets and this is very important for that casual look. If you can, I would say size down because I feel this runs a little bit large. The next item might look a little bit familiar to you guys, but this is very reminiscent of a pair of Arquette trousers that I have with this kind of um, paper bag waistline and it also comes at a similar length. This is a really similar option to that pair of navy trousers I'm talking about. But this is actually so much nicer because with the navy pair, as much as I like the navy colour, the white colour is so sheer. This is a lighter off-white shade and it is a very thick material and very opaque. Light coloured trousers can be really tricky because sometimes you know they're not opaque enough, you can see the pocket, you can see the underwear, and this doesn't have that problem. I love this subtle kind of paper bag detailing, I think it's super flattering. I love this adjustable belt, so you can kind of adjust it to make sure that it fits perfectly on the waistline. And sometimes, you know, if you're tucking a sweater in versus a t-shirt, you can basically guarantee that it's going to fit really well. The two pockets are a nice touch on the side, and then I love the length of these. I'm 160cm by foot 3 and I don't have to get these tailored, they're the perfect length. I know they're rolled up a little bit, but I think that's part of the design. It's quite a thick and lovely material, it definitely feels quite substantial, which is what you want in a white trouser to stop it from being sheer. And this is 50% lyocell, which drapes and feels really beautiful, and 50% cotton. Similar to the navy trousers from Arquette that I wear constantly on rotation, I am sure that this will join that because I'm so happy with the quality and the look of this trouser. I have had such good luck with my end of a stories purchases recently, but I will be completely honest and say half the time I send everything back because I don't like anything. 
Whereas this time around, everything has just kind of worked out really well. I realized I almost forgot to include this lovely little t-shirt. So this is a navy t-shirt and it's got a white floral print on it. It is very dainty and it's just that cotton t-shirt material. This t-shirt is 100% cotton and I will say it's slightly on the thinner side, but because it's a darker color, it's not see-through. It is just slightly um, thinner than some of the t-shirts that I like. I think for a t-shirt that is very casual, this has some elements that make it feel a little bit more special. And it's got a little frill on the sleeve, which is cute. It's got a little bit of like a embroidery detail at the collar. And I just think that this looks a little bit more dressy than your typical t-shirt, while still feeling very comfortable and casual on. I saw this t-shirt with a pair of white shorts and I think it's super cute just tucked in. And it looks a lot dressier than just a t-shirt and shorts. And I also threw on the jacket and the look feels quite smart for something that is just a t-shirt. With this particular t-shirt, I did size up to the small and I do actually really like the slightly looser look that the small gives. This jacket is one of the best things I've added to my wardrobe recently and it was such a good find from Bestia Collective. This jacket was pretty loved but it honestly came in such good condition. I feel like it probably had only been worn once or twice. I've had a lot of good experiences on Bestiaire where I've purchased something that is marked as in good condition and it arrives just looking 100% perfect. I feel like this one of those jackets that is super super loud. I got a lot of lovely comments in one of my styling videos saying that they didn't think this would suit my style that much but I managed to surprise them with how I styled it. I think this jacket because it's got the tweed texture and it's got the denim you can wear it with something really plain and simple inside and just makes the outfit look really, really interesting. Not just based on the colors, but also from a texture point of view. Everything here has been quite spring-like, but this particular jacket I also would love to wear for the autumn winter time here in Sydney because it's just such a beautiful and thick material. This jacket, I forgot to mention, is originally from Sandro. Sandro is quite an expensive brand and I don't think they're always worth the price that they sell for, so I do love shopping them secondhand, and I love finding pieces like this. I've never worked with Vestia, so this is definitely not affiliated with them, but I've been loving shopping there, and I've had really good luck myself with a couple of pieces recently. Now we're getting to some of the items that did not work, and I'm honestly a little bit disappointed by it. This is a top from Cezanne that I mentioned in my last video, and as much as I love the print of this, the shoulder detail, as you'll see in the cutaways, is so incredibly dramatic that I don't think it's flattering at all. I'm honestly trying to imagine how this top looks good, but I think that on the model, she wears a pair of trousers and a wider belt, and she wears this tucked in, and it looks really beautiful. But I think on my body, it just doesn't quite work. I just think that this really dramatic shoulder ruffle is going to be a little bit intimidating on a lot of people and I am not that happy with the style so this is going to go back. I love the print of this and if you guys have something in this print that you recommend let me know because I would love to purchase something in this print but this top just definitely didn't work out for me. The next two items definitely didn't work out for me and honestly I had high hopes for it since I actually have both these items in different colours but it didn't work out at all and I guess it's very good for my bank account. We have a linen Christie blazer and we have a linen Fabrizio short. This is a cotton linen blend and it is too sheer. I feel like no matter what kind of underwear, seamless, whatever that I wear inside, you can really see through it. I feel like unless you wear something that's like barely there, it just doesn't really work with this short. With, a sh with something so casual, I really don't want to be fussing with this. I just want to throw it on and go and unfortunately it just didn't meet the criteria. With the blazer, the sheerness is obviously not as much of an issue, but I just think that overall I didn't like anything about it. I personally love wearing a light yellow, but this particular shade of yellow definitely has a lime undertone, and I find that quite hard to wear. The material is also quite rough, and a lot rougher than what I was expecting, so that was also a bit of a no. So unfortunately, these two things just didn't work out for me at all and they will be going back as soon as I finish filming this video. 
I did want to mention the one thing that I really enjoy from my Cezanne order and that is the fine Louvre belt. I really like the buckle on this belt and the level of it does feel quite high quality. I've had Cezanne belts before so I do know that they hold up really nicely. And this one is just a thinner style of belt that I think looks really good, worn with jeans and with different trousers. In the past, I've had the Artemis belt which has held up really well from Cezanne so I do know that their belts are quite high quality. And I'm super excited to have a play around with this kind of silvery hardware buckle on the black belt. I've already styled it with jeans and my guest pardon knit, and I love how this makes that look feel so much more interesting than without a belt. So next up we have a beautiful 100% cashmere knit from The Curated. And I have to say this knit has been heavenly to wear since I got it in the mail. It's 100% cashmere, so as you can imagine, it's super soft. I feel like the cashmere being used is quite high quality because it feels really good on the skin and the weight of it is quite substantial. It's not a super thin kind of cashmere knit. You've definitely got a little bit of weight to it. When you're wearing it, it does feel very warm. I feel like I would describe the color as a beige, but it has a definite pink undertone to it as well. So sometimes it looks like pink to me, sometimes it looks a bit more oatmeal, beige to me. But whatever it is, it is definitely a neutral and I've worn it with a bunch of colours and it goes well every time. The standout of this sweater though is definitely the style. It's got a crossover style so you kind of tie it on one side and I think that it's ultra flattering. I imagine you can kind of tie it into a bow if you want. But I think having the ties just kind of hang down looks super relaxed and also chic. If you guys follow me over on Instagram, there's no doubt you probably have seen this quite a lot already. But I do want to mention it here because I'm so happy with this item. For me, I'm currently in autumn and heading into winter. And I feel like this knit is like the perfect cozy option to wear from autumn all the way throughout winter inside coats and with jeans. Thank you guys for watching this video today. I really appreciate your support, especially if you have made it to this far. Thank you to Karma for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are interested in downloading the app and Chrome extension, I'll have a link at the top of the description box so you can kind of save a little bit when you're doing your online shopping as well. I hope you guys are having a very lovely day or night depending on where you are in the world and I will see you soon. Bye.